Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Yeah, I haven't posted a movie review in about two weeks. I was just taking a break, you know, posting some more commercials on my channel and just, you know, doing all this other stuff. But I did actually went to Best Buy this week and I bought nine Blu-ray titles. It's been a while since I actually last bought something, but hey, it's, it's a start. Um, but one of the films I got, which is a film I saw last year, but it was great to watch it again. It's simply Crawl. Yeah. Part disaster film, part creature feature, part family drama. Uh, all together. <laughs> and of course it's the Blu-ray. That, that's a combo pack. has the DVD and digital copy inside. Um, it's from producer Sam Raimi who did the Evil Dead trilogy, along with the Spider-Man trilogy and Darkman. And it's also by producer and visionary filmmaker Alexandre Aja, who gave us High Tensions, Mirrors, The Hills Have Eyes remake, and Piranha 3D. He also produced uh, the Maniac remake as well. So they all came together to, to make this smart and intelligent, uh, very intense, thrilling, uh, and surprisingly excellent um, film right there. And I really enjoyed it too. Um, it's basically a story about a daughter who's uh, a swimmer, who's joined by her father, who joins in with the dog, that are being hunted by alligators uh, after becoming trapped inside the crawl space you know, during a hurricane windy in, in southern Florida. Okay, so let's begin with the review. This will go quick. It stars Kaya Scodelario, who is from the movie The Maze Runner. Never saw those films. So I probably saw little bits and pieces of it. Um, Barry Pepper, who was in Saving Private Ryan, uh, along with Firestorm. Yeah, I know. It, it was it was a disaster action film with Harvey Long. Um, he was also in Weird Were Soldiers uh, with Mel Gibson, among others. Ross Anderson, Anson Boone. Jose Palma, Colin McFarlane, George Summer, Amy Metcalf, um, Anna Marie Serta, Savannah Stein, and <laughs> Salsa was Sugar, <laughs> which is their Shaggy Terrier dog. Okay. It's written by two brothers, Michael and Sean Rasmussen. And it's directed by Alexandra Aja. The movie begins where we meet a young aspiring swimmer named Haley Keller, who's played by Kaya Scalario, who just uh, finished her swimming practice, uh, which is the swim meet. She lost, of course, and we do see some flashbacks because she was a longtime swimmer since she was a little girl that was taught by her former swimming coach. And her father, who's a strange, named Dave, was played by Barry Pepper. She soon receives a phone call from her sister, Beth, who lives in Boston with her child, who informs her that Hurricane Wendy is on the way in southern Florida and advises her to get out of the state as soon as possible. But concerning for the safety of Dave, Haley goes to check on him at his condo but finds it empty, so she decided to go check on their old family home in Coral Lake, which she supposedly sold years ago. We also learned that it did develop into family conflict, that Dave um, got divorced from his wife. He became very sad and depressed. He has a drinking problem, and he's also working for construction and all that stuff, too. 
Not to mention trying to fix several things for the house. Yeah, for real estate um, that he sold. So at that point on, she goes against the instructions of Beth's uh, ex-boyfriend, Wayne, who is now the member of the Florida Police Department, by, by not going straight into Coral Lake because it's been flooded completely. But since she didn't listen, and she might as well just go over there anyway, um, she went straight at, at the house, you know, driving her Jeep. I mean, she already brought in their family dog, Sugar. And Haley descends to go inside the crawl space underneath the house, where it's filled with rats, as well as um, some spiders, which it's been shown later in the film. But worst of all, there were large alligators inside. Yeah, not just one, but two, and maybe many more. So now Haley had finally found Dave, that are lying on the ground, already unconscious, as he's been brutally attacked by one of the alligators. Um, he was just trying to fix the, the storm drain that's been burst through, and apparently uh, already one of the alligators had blocked her exit because she just uh, dropped her phone, just making contact to see where he's at. But then, of course, the alligators attacked her and already dragged her around. Of course, she even took the screwdriver and stabbed one of them in the eye, you know. Uh, we also learned, of course, that Dave uh, did have a broken leg, too. Yeah. It was really gouged in. Um, so, of course, he was trying to fix the storm drain that's been burst open and through the crawl space, and, and the alligators were too large to fit under the pipes, allowing Haley and Dave to find safety at the back of the crawl space completely. But as the hurricane hits, it only gets worse when the entire house starts to flood around. And right across the street there's a gas station where it's being robbed by these young punks. Yeah, they took out the ATM machine and all this other stuff, even the money, before they were being attacked by all these alligators. Yeah, they even got a speedboat, too. And, uh, yeah, they, they tried to get some help from them, but it was too late. So, then Haley attempts to navigate around the alligators. You know, tries to find her phone, but it's been smashed. Uh, which happened earlier. Uh, then uh, the cops had arrived, including Wayne and hoping that Haley would definitely contact them right away so you know just by knocking you know through those pipes you know with, with uh, all the tools that he has so that way they'll make contact while while all the the water is starting to run deeply going all all rising up through the crawl space uh, Wayne basically uh, spotted them and, and was ready to go inside the house to get him out of there. But it was too late when one alligator attacked him and also attacked uh, his partner. So, yeah, joining in with all the other alligators around. Haley um, got some contact with Dave, but Haley doesn't want to leave him behind. But he'll say he'll be alright. He'll just try to find a way to get out of there and try to stop one of these alligators, which he did, yeah, he killed uh, one. Um, Haley also killed the other one, too, uh, when he actually went straight all the way through the other, um, other uh, place, which, yeah, there was the other uh, side where that's where they had the storm drain, and then we spotted, uh, a gator nest inside and there's like a dead corpse in there from a cop which at that point on <laughs> she killed one and she had to escape as soon as she can by swimming all the way through the, the storm drain 
just so she could finally escape from there and be able to go back and be able to save her father. But it wasn't really easy because you know, once they tried to get out of the crawl space, soon uh, one gator came around, crashes straight into the window of their house and, and all the water starts to splash and start to go all the way straight into the house, you know, causing a havoc. You know, so with Haley, Sugar, the dog, and and Dave going around trying to escape for all these alligators, I mean, and it wasn't easy too. And hoping they'd be safe around, they had to try to swim across, and they went all the way trying to go on top of um, like the sink or any area to to get away from them. But they just keep going around attacking them. You know, the, including the, the scene where Dave was about to get the the flares, so that way he uses so you know they can make contact with all the rescue teams showing up with the helicopters. But of course, the Gators just keep coming around as he attacks Dave and lost his arm, and. Uh, while uh, Haley just went straight to the bathroom trying to take one gator to go straight into uh, the shower and she escapes as soon as she can they swim across and then they actually kill that one gator with the flare and now they finally got out of there you know trying to beat them also to note uh, I think I forgot to mention was that um, they're about to get the speedboat too uh, he actually uh, told her to actually swim as fast as she can just so she can get to the, the speedboat to join with both uh, Dave and, and Sugar so they could try the swim across but then the alligators just keep coming back and you know things just weren't working it seems uh, but therefore once they finally beat those uh, alligators I mean some of them may still be alive so I know there's plenty Finally, the, the helicopter had arrived. Um, Haley, Dave, and Sugar are finally safe. They wound up on top of the roof, all lead to a rescue at the end. So, yeah, this was definitely a very chilling, intense um, horror movie that really works. I mean, I know there have been horror films uh, that involves gators, like, of course, Alligator and, and Lake Placid, which was actually a crocodile and all. I mean, yeah, there were, there were some horror films about that, but this one was done very well. I mean, it was shot at a warehouse uh, where they had a blue screen, and, and they built all these houses to make it look almost like they were at Southern Florida, but they're not, because it was filmed somewhere... In, in a different country uh, brought in with the team and they did an excellent job I mean it was hard working that they had to do while the alligators were done digitally though all CGI they blend in with practical effects I mean they they also had uh, some practical effects on the actors too and with their body limbs uh, ripping apart and all um, put together so you could tell that they blended in perfectly. Uh, the performances by both Kaya and Barry were excellent together you know, as a father and daughter team. I mean, I, there's that quote that I really love too, that <laughs> that I actually really love. I mean, I know it sounds a little corny, but I thought that was pretty cool, where Dave actually says, just when they're about to beat them, by saying, let's beat these pretty brain lizard shits. I thought that was pretty clever. Um, anyway, uh, Kaya Scolario, I, I thought she was um, definitely strong, um, vulnerable, and and she definitely cares for her father. She does what she can to save them all, as well as the dog. I mean, we know that she's a swimmer. She's she's very great and excellent, uh, inspiring, all right. And she does what she can for her safety to you know, try to beat those uh, alligators around because of how dangerous they are. 
you know, the fact that they, they've been attacked by them, you know, with blood, gore, you know, with bodies being ripped apart, and their arms ripped rip apart too, that, that you saw in the movie, I mean, lots of intense violence, it really works. Um, there was that one scene I really loved too, was when one gator actually went up to her arm just when she was about to grab the gun from the corpse of, of this cop, and suddenly went actually grabbed uh, her arm and she started shooting at it, killing him completely. I thought that was awesome that they did that. <laughs> and I love that other scene too, where um, Dave actually uh, took out was took out this one gator and and started to uh, to take uh, parts of the the wood. I mean, yeah, parts of the roof of the crawl space and and just uh, try to grab his head and and just stabbed it and actually breaks it apart too. I was like, wow, that was awesome. Incredible. But they did what they can to survive for this uh, intense um, disaster yet going against those creatures. Um, oh, and, and the best part about the film too was that their dog didn't get attacked once. It was not harmed at all, which I'm happy to hear that. And it did have a happy ending, which I'm happy to see that. And um, the location just looks as beautiful as it can be. I mean, I know they had to use um, a lot of digital imaging, you know, because of course they shot this on a blue screen, and they had to try to change everything to make it look like like it was set there for real. Uh, I also learned that actress uh, Kaya actually broke a finger while during those scenes that where she had to like you know, try to go straight into the storm drain and all and and try to do all these other intense scenes, you know. That's just part of acting here, but it wasn't easy though for her, but she did what she could. I mean, it, it took them like days, you know, trying to get some of these scenes right, even though this whole film is supposed to be taken within one day, so they can escape as soon as possible, so they can be rescued. So. And it's a fast-paced movie, too, uh, very thrilling, chilling, and it really works. Uh, that's why I love it. And it's definitely worth checking it out, too. Especially if you love creature feature, disaster films and all, this works. And this was a great combo together. And if you're interested in family dramas, I guess this is the perfect film for that. Because it's really just about a father and daughter story right there. And they show that they can care for them, even if they do what they take to survive through this uh, nightmare. Alexandria Ja did an excellent job directing this movie. Uh, joining him were producer Sam Raimi. And I know Ajad also produced it. Uh, so they, they came together creating this wonderful chilling story um, with the writing team of the Rasmussen's. So they knew they had a smart intelligence script right there that blends in well together. That's Crawl and I give the movie Five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.